Hello world, it's Mr. Resistor here, continuing our Alpha Nubro experience. So let's see, I have completed some skill training, so we've got industry, we've got mass production, cool, let's see what we just got, uh, oh, earned some money and bounties. Very cool. Uh, so we also got a destroyer skin for our daily login. Thrasher Blue Tiger. Alright. So, whoa. Kill 10 NPCs. That's <clears throat> that's a lot. So let's see. Uh, just double checking our modules, seeing what we picked up. Nothing of particular interest. Anything in here? Ah, we need to grab more ammo. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's check our other ships as well. Okay. So we can dump that. We can dump that. Got our civilian explosive. Uh, we just got compact kinetic. Good. Um, I don't pay a ton of attention to these things because I'm not super into like optimizing everything as much as possible. But if I recall correctly, <coughs> um, explosive and kinetic are the main types of damage that we face. Um, so if we simulate, um, you can see our shield resistances for those are up to 66 and 69. Nice. All right. Um, all right, let's not forget to get more ammo. Um, so if you hold down shift and then click to drag, we can set our amount. So let's go with 500. Should be enough. Got a little bit of a delay on things because unfortunately I've got, <clears throat> I've got a big download going for work. So... Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. Uh, and let's see what we've got. Okay. Well, that's definitely a combat mission, so we'll go ahead and accept that. Even if we're not going to use the gun that they gave us. Let's see. We've got... Uh, delivery. Cool. We'll go ahead and take that. And destroy the narcotics warehouse. All right. Uh, and of course, we've got our remaining uh, industrialist here, right? Again, that's going to depend on ores that we're going to mine. Um, so I th I'm thinking that uh, it's currently 
Ooh, I should, let's see. Can I see, where is it? Um, do, 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 we want to make sure, is it up here? There we go, journal. Ah, offer does not expire. Cool. All right. So it's currently Thursday. I'm thinking maybe on Saturday we can take the time to do that mining. Um, <clears throat> so until then, we will leave it. Got our thing we're supposed to deliver, yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure that uh, there's going to be some more manufacturing on the other industrialist track as well. So, So we may have to do a fair amount of mining. Um, as of time of recording, I haven't gone through and done any editing or uploading yet. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, figure out my tools and process for that, um, and hopefully as I said, I don't, I don't want to have a three-hour video of just my venture orbiting some rock uh, <clears throat> while I mine. So I'll figure out, I'll figure out some way to to do that. I just have don't uh, uh, <laughs> I did I did take a video production class. My first year of college. Docking permission uh, requested. Docking requested. But that was accepted. when editing was done with two VCRs, and uh, non-linear editing tools like we commonly use today um, were, I think, just coming out and beta testing. And uh, I certainly didn't have access to them. So that's uh, another thing that I'm going to have to figure out. Okay. <clears throat> mm, let's go ahead and do that one first. Drive I do kind of dig the uh, sort of X-wing-like quality of this uh, of this craft. There are a couple other Minmatar ships that do uh, 
similar things, but not quite the same. Uh, all right, so pulse that. We'll activate these and boom. Deactivate those now. Reload. Because wasn't I just telling you last time? Always reload whenever you have a break in combat. Get our salvage. We'll warp and hopefully there will be nine enemies for us to kill in this mission. So, you know, this guy is 26 kilometers away. I'm going to try an experiment here. One pulse of our micro warp. Let's see if, how far that carries us. Oh, pretty much all the way. Good to know. Um, occasionally, you get yourself into a situation where um, you'll need more than one pulse of the drive to uh, get where you want to go. And so it's good to have a sense of what that range is. So we'll scout. <clears throat> um, so I don't think I've talked about meta yet um, in terms of gear, but uh, in general, you've got kind of three categories of gear. So there's tech one, tech two, and meta. <clears throat> Meta's kind of in between Tech 1 and Tech 2 in a lot of ways. Um, sometimes uh, they're generally generally better than Tech 1. Um, sometimes better than Tech 2, depending on your situation. <clears throat> So perhaps we'll take a look at that real quick. So let's go ahead and open our info here and we'll move it up here out of the way and uh, look at this tab that says variations. So here we've got all the different types. Oh yeah, faction. That's the other one. Four. Four types of ship modules. All right, so anyway. <clears throat> so we've got Tech 1, which is our 125 millimeter Gatling Auto Cannon 1. This is what will typically be referred to as Tech 1. The other four 
will be considered meta. And grab loot here real quick. Then we've got tech two and we've got faction. Um, <clears throat> so the major thing that tech two is going to give you uh, for weapons is it allows you to use tech two ammunition, which is generally considerably more, um, more efficient. I'm using standard inf uh, ammunition. There is also faction ammunition uh, that would be available. So, you know, for uh, bullets, um, uh, it would be Republic Fleet um, for the Minmatar Republic. Um, and that's going to uh, that's gonna often be pretty good, maybe not quite as good as Tech 2, um, but probably cheaper. Um, and how you acquire that is with loyalty points. Uh, you can buy it off the market, but um, I usually use loyalty points. You need 5,000 rounds of standard ammunition. Um, and you pay some loyalty points and some isk to trade that for or 5,000 rounds of faction uh, ammunition. Um, so, and faction ammunition can be used in all of these guns. Um, I believe only Tech 2 guns can use Tech 2 ammunition. Um, and, you know, similar with uh, with other weapon systems, right? Missiles and what have you. All right, so gonna look at our compare screen and let's see. There's is it okay. Um, so you can see here. Um, where is, is it tech level? No, meta level. Yeah. All right. So remember, this is the one we consider tech one, or that we call tech one, meta level zero. Tech two is uh, meta level five, and then you have these so-called metas, which are one, two, three, and four. Um, so typically you can kind of judge quality by price. Um, the uh, scouts obviously are the most popular. Um, so for, uh, for this particular weapon, estimated price going to be about 5 million isk. Um, prototype uh, I use quite a bit. Um, you can see about one tenth of the price in this case. Um, and then you have uh, Domination, with, which is a pirate faction, and Republic Fleet, which is of course the Minmatar faction. Um, and those are both meta level seven. I don't know much about uh, faction modules, so uh, I'm not really gonna talk about that. So let's see, used with charge group. Ah, okay, so the faction ones can use advanced. Uh, I assume that means tech two ammo. So good to know. Um, the big things, let's see, we can look at reload time, all the same, 10 seconds. Uh, mass, again, mostly the same. The faction ones are a little heavier. 
Um, that can affect the handling of your ship. Um, but okay, activation cost is zero for all. Um, <clears throat> for all projectile weapons. Extra hit points, uh, we don't really care. Okay, so here's where we're gonna get into differences. So accuracy fall off. Do, do, do. Okay, all the same. Tracking is all the same. Volume is all the same. Capacity is gonna be the same. CPU usage. Here we get some differences. So the the uh, faction ones require less CPU to mount, right? Tech one and tech two require three. Our metas require two, and then our fractions require one. <coughs> Rate of fire is all the same. Uh, power grid usage. This is going to be another. Oh no, all the same in this case. Okay. Um, typically, CPU usage and power grid usage um, are going to be the big ones. And that's a lot of the reason why, um, why people might choose to go for metas, even if they can use tech twos, um, <clears throat> is just for, um, the lower, lower fitting cost, right? Um, if you don't have that one extra, uh, I assume that's teraflop of CPU, then using the scout or a prototype might be good enough compared to tech two. Um, <clears throat> let's see, not really, I don't believe we have thermodynamics. Of, oh, no we do, but anyway. All right, so damage multiplier, this is, also kind of where the metal hits the road, right? So we've got 2.063 here. The metas um, get consistently better. Um, so, right, and predictably, right? So this is meta one, meta two, meta three, meta four. And meta five, right? So you're getting the same damage mod multiplier as uh, the tech two from the scout, um, but it's easier to fit. Um, let's see, optimal range. We get a little bit of difference here, right? So only 800 for tech ones. Uh, the gallium, uh, which I believe is what we're, we've got right now. Uh, no, we've got tech ones. Okay. Um, galliums drop pretty commonly, though. Um, <coughs> so, 880. So here we actually lose. Oh no no no! That's the that's the first one, two, three, four. Again, same as tech two, but easier to fit. Uh, used with charge, that's do, do, do. signature resolution, I don't think matters. Used with, uh, well, is that on there twice? Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, in general, it's gonna be CPU usage, power grid usage. Um, so those are gonna determine whether you can have it on your ship and powered up, ready to use. And then you wanna maximize, right, your damage, your optimal range, or whatever it is that, you know, if you're talking about other modules, uh, what it is we want to, that module to actually do. And oh, activation cost. That's the other. That's the other one. Again, um, this is uh, not going, not an issue for projectile weapons, but for pretty much for most other modules, this is going to be relevant, right? This determines how much of your capacitor, right down here, gets used uh, for each cycle. 
Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, we've wasted enough time. We've got our salvage, so let's go to the next room. Drive active. All right, destroy the narcotics warehouse. <clears throat> First, let's kill these guys. Killing spree requirement. So in these, uh, we can see what kind of damage we're taking, right? So in this case, it's thermal and electrical. <clears throat> so I'm not running either of my hardeners because they don't give me bonuses against thermal and electrical. Hopefully that's all of our opposition. So let's go ahead and blow up this warehouse. back to the station.
So with this window, I like to always enable compact mode. Uh, it reduces the size of the buttons, which is just fine for me. I think they're too big, honestly. Um, but one thing that happens sometimes uh, otherwise is uh, this area will kind of push up into this area up here and you end up not really being able to see all of this uh, information up here. <clears throat> There are some things that I like about the new UI code, but uh, it has some issues, in my opinion. One of those being the amount of wasted space. All right, so you've got a All right. So you've got a header bar real thick, much thicker than is necessary. All right, you could reduce the margins there, save a little space, give us a little more viewable area. Again, this toolbar here, <coughs> looking through, you can kind of determine right where the borders of it are. Too much margin. Same here, All right? Yeah, I mean, that's a reasonable space between these two, but you don't need that amount of space top and bottom. Same down here on the bottom, right? We don't need this thick border area here. Just takes away from the actual usable area of the screen, so, right? So, <clears throat> out of all of this, our actual usable inventory space is cut down by probably 20% by just excessive unnecessary borders around everything. Don't care for it. Um, you know, might be, might be cool on a desktop application. Uh, depending on what it is. Uh, but for a game UI where there's so much information that you might want to keep track of at any time, I just feel like that's a poor design choice. <clears throat> and it uh, doesn't really add anything aesthetically either. just kind of makes it look thick and clunky and full of wasted space. Um, which was much less of a problem on the other one, on the old uh, UI. So now you might be saying, why not use compact UI? Uh, and that's because compact mode here just takes away takes away this over here which um, not a big deal in this ship but if you're you know when you're flying say an orca where you've got your main cargo hold you've got your fleet hangar you've got your maintenance bay you've got your ore hangar um, <clears throat> You know, and then you may also have some containers or something that are open, right? Um, yeah, uh, this is useful, and so I prefer to have it open. Web drive active. <clears throat> So, um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I mentioned it in the, uh, in the thread asking about UI problems, as did a bunch of other people. Hopefully they'll listen and, uh, Docking permission fix the requested. design, but who knows, CCP does Docking what request CCP accepted. wants to do. So, 
not going to hold my breath waiting for that to happen. But if it does, I'll be super happy. Hostages. Right, if I remember correctly, this is a non combat mission. We go in, we grab the hostages, we leave. Cool as far as missions go. Not going to give us kills for <clears throat> skilling spree. This guy. Next one will be the end of the chain. Um, right, we fight, uh, fight our, uh, pirate buddy and his friends. All right, let's see what we got here. Mission nine, mission seven. Uh, isk. Ah, this must have been the other overclocker booster. What does that give us? This gives us a uh, velocity bonus. Cool. <clears throat> Try to remember that next time I've got a bunch of traveling to do. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll... <clears throat> Maybe when we finish up all the career missions and uh, move out to another system. And what did we get for... Something's in here. God, that's new, right? Was it that gun? Is that what we got? I do not remember. All right. No, oh, but we've got this. <coughs> Let's go ahead and activate that guy. And that will be all for tonight. So until next time, have a good one.